We've created a soybean oil based material we call a polymer that's able to rebind that recycled asphalt used for applications like this. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putsey and we are coming to you from near Boone, Iowa and the Central Iowa Expo Grounds, which is home to the Farm Progress Show. And we have some really exciting news to share that all happens here at the Farm Progress Show this year. I'm visiting with Dina Morgan, marketing with the Farm Progress Show and also with Eric Cochran. Eric, you're a professor at Iowa State University in the chemical and biological engineering. Let's start with you, Dina. First of all, the Farm Progress Show, when is it and how many guests do you expect? So Farm Progress Show will be this August, August 30th, 31st, and September 1st here in Boone. And usually we expect about 150,000 people over the three days. Eric, there's a, a product that's gonna be showcased this year in the middle of the Farm Progress Show grounds where the Varied Industries tent is located. Tell us a little bit about this product that we're going to be unveiling at this year's show. Yeah, I'd love to. So we're standing on it, actually. Yes, so uh, this is a, a, an asphalt pavement um, that's actually 100% reconstructed from recycled asphalt pavement. So at the, the end of a road's life cycle, they mill it up and they have all this uh, recycled asphalt. And what we've done is we've created a soybean oil-based material we call a polymer. Um, that's able to rebind that recycled asphalt so that it can be recompacted and used for applications like this. So let's talk some numbers here, Eric. You know, we're talking about an area that's 60 by 600 feet. So in terms of the amount of oil and its equivalent to acres and bushels of soybeans, what are we talking? Well, uh, so this whole area is about three quarters of an acre, and we used about uh, 2,000 pounds of soybean oil uh, to produce uh, this section. Uh, which is the equivalent of about 200 bushels, which uh, I guess if I learned is I in Iowa is about three acres of soy. Um, so somewhere between three and four acres, depending on your yield. Now, Dina, how does a product like this that's funded by the Iowa Soybean Farmer help with the show and, and with the overall experience the visitors will have this year? Absolutely, it upgrades the experience tremendously uh, for our exhibitors as far as setup to be on a completely level surface and for our visitors to have such a nice smooth area to walk on uh, really makes it enjoyable for everyone that comes to the show, those visitors and exhibitors. And this is a, again an outcome, Eric, that we need to go back eight, nine, ten years to when the Iowa Soybean Farmer, through their investment of the Soybean Checkoff, invested in this kind of technology to make this project happen for Farm Progress Show. So very quickly, just kind of walk us through a bit of the history that led to this product being used and applied not just here, but in, in roadways and other uh, applications across the Midwest and across Iowa. It was about 2012 when we had the initial discovery of, of how to transform soy into, into this type of, of polymer that could be used for um, adhesives and wood composites and uh, construction related applications like, like asphalt pavements. This technology works the best with high oleic soybean oil um, and we had an early conversation with the, the Iowa Soybean Association and they were you know, very eager to hear about how we could valorize um, that high oleic soybean oil. We uh, started some sponsored research projects in 2013 that really um, enabled us to get the momentum it, it required to go from laboratory scale experiments um, into pilot scale manufacturing. So in fact, the, the pilot plant that manufactured the polymers that we're standing on is just across the street at the BioCentury Research Farm. Moving out of that manufacturing facility into a full scale chemical manufacturer um, last year. Again, more market potential for the Iowa soybean farmer and again, making it not only a better experience here at the Farm Progress Show for visitors, but for motorists and all who can use a product like this originating from Iowa Soybean Farms. Reporting for the Iowa Soybean Association in the State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putsey. Progress is a human invention. We look at our world and we imagine how to make it better. That's the power of human ingenuity. We can redefine what's possible. At Bayer, we're shaping the future of agriculture. Like farms where all life grows together. It's 
not impossible, it's progress. 